Uh, good morning, uh, Dr. Cameron Mohammed from Oklahoma Heart Institute with the uh, Structural Heart Team, including Dr. Chang of Cardiac Surgery, Dr. Tullock, Cardiac Imaging, Dr. Leinbach, Interventional Cardiology. And uh, we wanted to spend a few minutes today talking about um, a, a procedure that we completed as the first in Oklahoma where we were able to replace a mitral valve without open heart surgery, and that is called transcatheter mitral valve replacement. So mitral regurgitation is where the valve called the mitral valve leaks, and in this case, it was leaking severely, and the uh, patient has problems with developing severe shortness of breath as well as decreased exercise capacity. And this provides, in this particular case, um, an option for patients who are not a candidate for surgical mitral valve replacement. Um, and so traditionally, we treat mitral regurgitation with either medical therapy or surgery. Um, we have the option for open heart surgery. Um, if the patient has mitral regurgitations, we can either do a mitral repair or a mitral replacement. Um, and this approach will provide a less invasive approach which will benefit the patient in a big way in terms of recoveries and early ambulations and, uh, and also less bleeding. Um, so the recovery would be faster compared to open heart surgery. So yeah, and just to expand on that, what this allows us to do is replace the patient's mitral valve without uh, traditional open heart surgery. So we use a small incision, uh, much smaller than the typical midline incision required for open heart surgery. We avoid what's called the heart-lung machine or cardiopulmonary bypass. So this procedure where we replace the valve is done on a beating heart, so the patient's heart does not need to be stopped. And uh, because of those factors, it's quite a bit quicker, um, and that makes it less stressful and the recovery quicker for these patients, as Dr. Chang mentioned, in terms of getting on their feet, getting back to normal life, getting out of the hospital. But all at the same time, they get a brand new mitral valve, which is functioning normally and no longer leaking severely uh, like it was at, at baseline. I think the great advance on this valve is it's the first valve replacement that actually the valve was designed to geometrically fit the actual uh, geometry of the native valve. Uh, traditional surgical valves d didn't do that, so this is a great advance from that aspect. So, uh, yeah, we're very happy that we were able to complete these procedures successfully at Oklahoma Heart. By doing the first three cases now in Oklahoma, our patients can stay here locally and get the latest uh, advanced technology without having to travel far away.